one thing i was not very fond of studying academics i had an actually i had an issue with the attitude round i had some technical issues uh i was sure that if i got to the attitude round i would do well in the technical and you have people from different parts of the world i'm guessing even nigeria i was so bad when i was doing it that anup sir asked me to like stand out of the course but even by that week teaching skill is i think uh, uncomparable uh, from any like he is one of the best teachers i have seen so far in my entire life so uh, you kind of mostly the way you learn programming is some professor teaching some uh, like topics about it some written concepts that is in the syllabus so uh, you kind of mostly the way you learn programming is some professor teaching some uh, like topics about it some written concepts that is in the syllabus So myself, Pravin, I'm uh, studying in TKM College of Engineering in Kerala. Uh, currently doing my final year, and uh, uh, I am a full stack developer as well. And I'd like to thank Pachala for that too. Placed at uh, different companies, uh, three companies so far, and the, the highest package is offered by Oracle. Uh, and I, I believe Oracle is the best company you could get to, irrespective, even if it is not a, just about the package. Yeah, Oracle is definitely the best. Of course, it is one of the best organizations out there, and we are so happy for you. So, uh, you. you know, so how uh, how is how excited are you to join the new organization? How do you feel about joining Oracle? Uh, so one thing I was not very fond of studying academics was, especially being in a tier three college, the exposure that we kind of get. is very less because uh, when you actually go into the industry what you learn in academics is not exactly what you use so i am really excited what uh, the exposure that i am expecting to get from a company like oracle is very different from what they get from an academic uh, life so yeah i'm really excited and curious too when you went for the interview how was your interview experience for the organization right uh, so mine was an on campus interview Okay. so uh, they had a few rounds in the beginning it was an aptitude round so in the aptitude round itself they had multiple rounds uh, multiple sections in the aptitude round uh, so i had an actually i had an issue with the aptitude round i had some technical issues because of that mm-hmm. i was not able to attend two sections in delhi and i was not hoping to get through that just because of the technical issue but i, I my name was like there in the list not much of the technical side but uh i was sure that if i got to the aptitude round i would do well in the technical round because i was prepared i was preparing with programming was there for a long time so mm-hmm. uh yes technical round there were three technical rounds and then it's a round and it went really smooth it was challenging but i was prepared so it, it mm-hmm. wasn't much of a problem uh mm-hmm. so people who got past each of the rounds were sent to the next round where in a zoom meet uh you go to the interview and you are putting in a waiting room and like depending on whether you are selected or not you will be sent to the next round it was a very long process tedious but uh, it was fun overall because uh, interview experience are actually a learning process by itself so coming to us how did you get to know about programming pathshala uh if it was today i was searching for programming pathshala it could be like much easier for me to get to know programming pathshala because i can still see ads all over the place yeah. geeks geeks suit world so and i can see your ads uh now it's a very established company and you have people from different parts of the world i'm guessing even nigeria i guess yeah so yeah. uh then when i joined program pashara it was a startup so uh and me not exactly being a north indian uh it was kind of a little difficult for me to get to know program pashara so what i did was backtrack a linkedin post i saw a linkedin okay. post talking about some uh misconceptions about uh, studying dsl go so like a lot of people tend to go for high level concepts like uh, neural networks and machine learning uh, in depth uh, like very difficult topics even in their first years and all might not turn up really good and mm-hmm. they were talking about how companies hire and all and that post well really catchy to me so i backtracked the link post to the organization uh, then i talked to a couple of people who were actually in the organization and i got a lot of good reviews and i decided to join and that was probably one of the best decisions i made how has been your problem solving skills before joining us and after joining us has there been any difference in the journey that's there okay so i was so bad when i was doing it that anup sir asked me to like stand out of the course i was that bad <laughs> so i had like a 
even though they were a startup, they had like few students in. So I started with this course Genesis is not currently available. So that uh, like there was a small interview procedure uh, with Vivek and uh, he I did not do really well in that interview. And Anub Bhaiya actually asked me to like uh, asked me to probably stand out of the course because he thought it wouldn't have actually it wouldn't fit in my pipeline. Mm-hmm. Uh, but like uh, like there were many people and like they decided to take me in finally. Initially, it was really difficult for me the course because my DSA what I learned from college was not nearly enough to catch up with what people were and I joined the course late too, so they had a head start. Uh, initially, I was just like you know. Uh, like watching the lectures and all to I spend money on it it's my parents money so I just have to show some kind of commitment right the only reason I like want to put effort but as the course proceeded I was being consistent and just because of the consistency I saw progress even though it was slow and like four or five months I started becoming good at it uh, and uh, I was able to solve my own problems uh, like initially I had to look at other people's codes too to actually figure out the different ways how they're approaching the problems and all. But yes, uh, I kind of, like from being able to solve like very, just one or two problems per day, uh, like I can now solve huge number of problems at a different difficult, uh, higher difficulty level. So yes, it was a great, it was a drastic change uh, from where I started and where I'm standing now. Yeah. <laughs> That's so, that also makes us so happy to see where you're standing right now. Actually, we are very happy for you. And now coming to one question that I love to ask in every interview, who has been your favorite in programming Kachala throughout your journey? But even by that week, teaching skill is, I think, uh, uncomparable. Uh, from any, like, he is one of the best teachers I've seen so far in my entire life. Not saying that Bharat is, like, he is a really good teacher, one of the best teachers I've seen Bharat too. But Vivek's yeah. fluency and, like, uh, I think he knows everything. Uh, like yeah. it just comes to him. He doesn't even have to remember. He knows everything. Yeah. Like it just comes to him. It flows yeah. like a river. So uh, yeah. like Vivekananda, actually, like his name. So. Uh, right. Uh, yeah, Vivek. Yes. <laughs> That's yes. amazing. You know, you have been with us through a long time. It has been a yeah. journey of many months. So you know, is there any value that you have seen programming Parchala following, or you know, the faculty of programming Parchala following, which you would like to take ahead in your life? Oh, okay, okay. So, uh, one thing is the culture, actually. So, uh, one thing that we don't get in a lot of colleges, especially like not the non IITs and NITs, is that uh, you don't have a programming culture that is like still learning students. So uh, you kind of mostly the way you learn programming is some professor teaching some uh, like topics about it, some written concepts that is in the syllabus. Uh, The book was written by like a, you know, 150 year old principles and all. It's not regularly updated or like very modern concepts that you regularly use. But when you're put into a community of students uh, who have similar ideas and all, you kind of tend to develop and they tend to update you with it. So that Com, uh, like being in a sense of community, you have similar uh, objectives, it can make a huge difference. That is something that I have learned from Bachala. They're all like, you know, uh, like everybody's uh, so friendly, you know, you can approach everyone like in that. But that's nice, that's nice. And that also we wish to be like, we want to be approachable to whosoever, you know, whichever students want to come to us. It's like a family, we all are a family. So now, oh, what kept you motivated throughout the journey? You know, we have many students who do give up in the middle, who feel like, you know, the course is very difficult or they are not able to be consistent with the journey. So what kept you motivated throughout the course? Renato? Okay, so uh, doing DSA is a motivation by itself, I'm not wrong, because when you start to get the questions accepted, so when, when you're trying out questions, you'll get the results, right? Whether you are actually solving the problem and all. And that itself is a satisfaction. In the very beginning, uh, I, like I said before, I was finding it really difficult to solve the problems and catch up with other people. So the only reason why I was motivated was my parents' money. They invested yeah. some money. But after a certain point, when you start getting a little good at it, it will just like come for you because um, you'll start seeing the results. When you start seeing progress yourself, you will know that you can get better at this. 
So mm-hmm. you have to reach a point when you know that you can get better. Like when you're actually, when you get to a certain point, when you start getting good, you don't want to go back to the person yeah. who you are. So you start to try to become consistent. And that is one realization that not many have. And we are ha- very happy that you had Praveen. And it's amazing, you know. Not many people realize about their parents, you know, hard-earned money. Not many people realize that now where they are, they should not go back from there. They should just move ahead. But you did and you are at a place where, you know, you are being an inspiration for so many of us. But that's nice. So before you leave, any parting words for programming Pathshala and for our students, you know, who are on the path to become a successful software development engineer, just like you are today. Right. Uh... Uh, a lot of people just join Pathshala by the idea of getting into a good company. So uh, their motive is their result, right? So I'm saying that, okay, result can be there as your motive, but don't think about the result when you're working for it. It, it can act as an ultimate motive, but like if you're just working for it, you won't love what you do, right? Because if it were easy, everyone can get it, right? Like everyone can, if everyone was able to get into fan company, like it's not a competition it's not different if it were easy everyone would do it it's a little difficult made like that so like even if you like you know fall down at certain point you find it so difficult like think about me because anybody asked me to sit out of the goals (laughs) must have bad i started from there and here right you feel bad i I was worse okay so (laughs) it was amazing having a word with you praveen we really hope you have a beautiful future ahead you do amazing wonders in your life ahead and you have a very successful journey as a software development engineer in Oracle. Thank you for giving me your time. Thank you. Uh, and it was honored to be a part of this interview.